Hi, this is Viola. Uh, this is Drum, man. We're back. She don't play. She don't play. I don't play. You don't play. He plays. I play. <laughs> I talk. You what? I just talk. Oh, I thought you said I fuck. Uh, I, I fuck too, but I talk. <laughs> yeah. I guess I, I fucking talk too. I don't generally talk while fucking. No? No? Except you don't be like, <gasps> thank you, mistress. <laughs> I choked you up. <laughs> uh, not usually. <laughs> You're blushing. No, I'm not. Shut up. <laughs> um, well, back when I was just a, when I in my switch switch days, I do a lot of dirty talk. Yeah. Yeah. In your switch days. Yeah. My Nintendo mm-hmm. Switch days. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is really expensive. Do, 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 do. Look at all my money. All my money. My money. Why are you in a different color now? Oh yeah, so I got the blue ring and it turns me white. <clears throat> You're more like lavender. And yeah, it's kind of a off, half blue, half white. But uh, I can take more hits now. I can take more punches to the dome. Which is good, because I'm about to go to level four. What about kicks to the balls? Can you take more kicks I to the balls? I don't think you get kicked to the balls in this game. If you do, they're very pixelated, so <laughs> it doesn't hurt that much. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sorry. Level four. Oh, these are called poles of voices, and they're, they suck. I think they're weak against fire. No. All right. But they turn to bats or uh, keys or whatever. Whatever the fuck. Let's see. Anything Red sp- bat. Huh? Yeah. Anything special about this room? No. Okay. So, uh, Alexander the Great Idiot. <laughs> Alexander the Great Idiot. We've been watching some. Um, uh, Historically relevant videos. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a story about Alexander. The great idiot? The great idiot. <laughs> what's he was a great the, idiot because... What's the one intelligent thing he did? Well, I I gotta tell you why he's the great idiot. First. Oh, right. He's a great idiot because, well, first of all, he's extremely violent, but that's not what makes him an idiot. What makes him an idiot is he'd have all these loyal, loyal men that would follow him. And out of nowhere, just to show, just to say, don't fuck with me, kind of like a gangster in, in the mob, he would just pick somebody out and say they did something wrong and murder them. What a guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what made him a great idiot. He didn't want anybody else to live forever, but he wanted to live forever. He wanted immortality. Mm-hmm. And this is what makes him a great idiot as well. Yes. Because. So he goes to this. There's a very long story about this. So um, he crosses over to India. And uh, says, find me a yogi that can teach me about immortality. So the guys are out. And they find this yogi sitting just in a loincloth. Just sitting there. Mm-hmm. They say, hey yogi, hey you. Can you teach about immortality? Yogi's like, yeah. They're like, come on. Alexander wants to see you. <laughs> Alexander. Um, he's like, no, that's okay. I'm, sit- I'm sitting here. Well, I like the part where he's like, uh, <laughs> he's like, well, Alexander says he wants to meet him, meet this guru, and the guys are like, no, he's not, a, he's, he doesn't make house calls. You have to go to him. <laughs> <laughs> right, but but the guys pull their swords out, right? And they're like, come with us or we're going to cut your head off. Oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, I've done all I need to do. Go ahead, cut it off. Cut my head off. And they're like, whoa, this guy must know about immortality. <laughs> he must be immortal. He must be immortal because he's not afraid of our swords. Everybody's afraid of our swords, right? Mm-hmm. So they go and say that, tell Alex, Alex about this. They're like, well, he doesn't do house calls. He's a school. You have to go to him. <laughs> so he comes up on his 
horse. On his high horse. On his high horse. <laughs> yes. And uh. <laughs> and the Yogi's like, get off the stupid animal. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of goes on a thing about how stupid horses are. <laughs> or no, how stupid how, riding horses are. Right. And yeah. how people think they're something when they're up on a horse. <laughs> that they're out like on their that. high horse. Yeah. That's where the high horse idea comes from. Mm -hmm. Get off your high horse. Mm -hmm. Come talk to me. <laughs> and he's, he's got Alexander Pegg is kind of an idiot. Mm -hmm. But so he sends him on this quest. Alexander says, I want to learn about immortality. He goes, okay, well, there's a pool inside this cave. And you have to go through this whole journey through all these different landmarks. And, and then you'll find the cave, and inside the cave is a pool. And if you drink from the water, you'll become immortal. And so off he goes. And he finds all the landmarks, just as the yogi said. He's like, okay, this guy knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. And he ends up in the cave, and there's a pool of water. And he goes, this must be it. So he dips his hands down into the water. He's about to drink, and along comes a crow. And the crow says, hey, dude, stop. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> just goes like, talking crow, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> Listen, I drank from this water many thousands of years ago. And I've seen many generations of my my tribe, I guess, if the crows have, what, my murders? People. My murders? <laughs> my murders. <laughs> Come and go. I've done everything there is to do. I have no interest in anything anymore. I would like to die, but I can't. Can't even commit suicide. Could be drank from a stupid river. Yeah, he goes, do you really want that? And the one smart thing that Alexander did... Oh, first of all, he left his other men behind because he wanted to be the only one that was immortal. But, yes. but the one smart thing he did was to not drink. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I, I like that because at the beginning, Yogi's like, he's an idiot because all he does is kill indiscriminately, like just going around killing people. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just like the idea of him, like, do I really want to be doing this forever? Right. Yeah. Good, good times. But lucky for everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead now. Yeah. And he said, uh, well, he's, uh, it's a good thing he didn't drink because he'd be immortal and that'd be horrible. <laughs> He'd be a big pain in the ass. <laughs> right. Oh man, I shouldn't have wasted all my bombs. Because uh, I think the secret... Uh, I think that this uh, map is in the shape of uh, some sort of creature. And Oh shit. Now I really wish I didn't waste all my bombs. Fuck. God damn it. Pay attention, man. I, I, I kept guessing. I kept guessing. Better to know than to guess, I guess. You guess? I guess. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't believe in certainty though. No? No. Are you certain about that? No. Okay. But I think beep, beep, I think wisdom beep, beep, is more important than certainty. Racism is more important than certainty. No, wisdom. <laughs> Racism is not more important. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I need some bombs. I'll be right back. Wisdom, knowledge, <laughs> this, and the pursuit thereof is, is more important than certainty. I like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Although it's kind of nice to be uncertain because you get to explore. You get to ex learn yeah, you get to you, you get to states. discover things. Yeah. 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 Take for example, <laughs> my main man Octaton. I've been. <clears throat> I might have mentioned them going through like the history of mankind mm -hmm. and um this was nefertiti's husband yes yes nefertiti and Octon. they were a pair ne nef nefernatan is what the tabloids call them <laughs> 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 and uh <laughs> good one <laughs> thank you <laughs> and uh yeah, he's, he was a pharaoh of Egypt in the 18th dynasty, which it's funny that Egypt was had, had 18, they had a shitload of dynasties and they were on their 18th dynasty and this was like 1300 BC, and a his, long ass time ago. His dad was liked a lot, yeah? I, yes, yes, his father was very popular, uh, in Monotep, 
the fourth or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then he came to power, and his name wasn't Octaton. He changed his name to Octaton from something else. And um, because he was in love with the giant flying sun disk thing. <laughs> yeah, he 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 uh, became Pharaoh, and he said, "We're you know at for." some odd reason he said we're not going to worship all the, this pantheon of egyptian gods anymore we're going to worship Spe specifically amun yeah well yeah well because he said we're not gonna we're not why am i wasting my bombs <laughs> we're not going to worship this pantheon of egyptian gods we're just gonna worship one god and his name is aten and the rest and, of them are bullshit yeah, basically and uh he's he's a sun disc and he's a Sun with beams. With little hands with at the end of the beams. Coming out of the but beams. the interesting thing is he really changed the beams. art of the time. Yeah, well, <coughs> uh, yeah. Uh, he wanted to show himself with a punch. <laughs> I'm getting to that. Okay. Yeah, he uh, he did a lot. He said, okay, we're all going to worship the sun disc. And the uh, Egyptians already had like a sun god that they worshipped, but he's like, no. We're, we're not that one. This thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, everyone was like, uh, oh, oh, "Okay." And, and he, did, he he built a lot. Yeah, he, and he destroyed a lot because he's like, "No, no, all these other gods are fucked." But he built his whole a whole new city, a whole new uh, capital. city. Oh yeah, he, cha he changed the cap the location of the capital. And another big thing he did it was uh, he changed the art because mm -hmm. like for a th thousands of years, Egyptians were doing the kind of standard hieroglyphic. Uh, kind of stiff standing yeah kind of rigid what, what we think of when we think of the Egyptian stuff art. from Egyptian art yeah, yeah. and um, his stuff was more cartoony <laughs> yeah and then he came out with this stuff that was like what if I had a paunch <laughs> maybe what, he did have a paunch yeah probably but it was it was interesting the theories that they had with that because it was like oh that was awesome um Yay, you did it <laughs> hooray did. um hold on a second walk into the waterfall. Yeah, I already did that. Sorry. Um, did you just hit him for no reason? I did. Oh, wait. Did I walk into the waterfall? I forget. Anyway. Um, so, oh, yeah. And so, like, he's kind of known as the first individual, <laughs> kind of, because he kind of flew in the face of thousands of years of Egyptian history. But I kind of dug his paunch. Yeah, I, 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 I dug the paunch. Um, and he was extremely unpopular and almost tore Egypt apart. He, well, he tried to he tried to consolidate all these different aspects of power. Yeah, he tried. To, he tried to. He flew too close to the sun. And its little hands <laughs> and its little strangled <laughs> him to death. <laughs> In a manner of speaking, yes. Ouch. The hands are so funny, but, but the <laughs> it's art like it's, it's kind of cartoony. Yeah, but it's I love it's, it. it's like depictions of him and his wife and his kids. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the kids are little, little, little. Aww. Yeah. Cute little babies. Yeah, boy, boy, boy. Let's see. Oh no, that was a waste of time. Um, yeah, Octaton and Philip Glass, one of my favorite musicians, wrote an opera about him. Hmm. Um, and I've. Uh, gotten stoned and jogged around Lake Michigan and listened to it <laughs> a couple of times um, in the early tens. So what do you know about Nefertiti and Nefertiti? Is it Nefertiti? Nefertiti. Nefertiti. Well, I know, I think I already told the legend of uh, her eyeball. Oh, yeah. And the, the uh, sculptor. Uh, but yeah, supposedly... She outlived him, though, right? Difficult to say. If she did... It wasn't very long, because mm -hmm. I guess after, like, once Octaton is out of the picture, like, like, uh, eventually it's, shortly thereafter, it's King Tut who's, who comes into, into power. The boy king. Married to a donkey. He's my king favorite honky. Tut. <laughs> <clears throat> Born in Arizona, moved to Babylonia. Babylonia. How are we doing on time? 14 minutes. 14 minutes, really? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Sure. I, I'm, I was starting to kind of crash a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe we can do level 5. If you're feeling up to it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Or we cool. could cut this one short. I don't mind. No. No. I want to keep playing video games forever. No, mommy. I don't want to go to bed. I'm, I'm nine years old. <laughs> I'm actually 37. <laughs> I'm turning 58. Uh, I'm turning... Wait. No. I'm You're turning, turning 258. Yes, silly goose. I am turning 258. You're, You're a vampire. <laughs> Not immortal. <laughs> just really old. Yeah. Yeah. You can kill yourself whenever you want. You can stop this living crap whenever you feel like it. Can you imagine immortality, though? Oof. That's crazy. It seems bleak. It seems all bleak. I mean, at least the way the crow, crow tells it. Mm -hmm. As the crow flies. I mean, yeah, I mean, you'd eventually lose interest in... Flying? Being a crow? You'd get really... I think I would get really annoyed with the repetition of people. <laughs> and their and their follies. Yeah. It's like, again, this like this has happened before. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can predict Ooh. what you're going to do, dude. Actually, before I do this, grab that other heart. I'm going to... Oh, fuck, I fucked it up. Okay, well... <sighs> Fine. That's why the oracles fuck with people. They're really old. Oh, the oracles. Um, I watched a documentary about uh, Atlantis, mm -hmm. and they actually think Atlantis was based on a real island off the coast of Greece that... Uh, oh, it was like hundreds of years before Pompeii. A volcano that was on the island exploded and basically wiped the city off the map. Mm. And uh, they, what they know about this... Ooh, hey. These guys. Mm. And I think these are Pole's voices. Was it you that showed me the article about the worst year in human history? No, but that's been going around. Like 596 or something? I haven't read it yet, because I'm not there yet. <laughs> yeah, it was like 586, because... Because yeah. uh, there were volcanoes, and yeah. there was a plague, and yeah. there... Uh, it was kind of it was kind of a you think the Backstreet Boys reunion tour is bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only year worse than 2020. Mm, well, I, I don't know. 19, 1914 was pretty bad. That's true. I was there. But uh, yeah. Okay, what was the music like? <laughs> Like that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, what was the music like in 586? 586. Um, oh, that's, that's a Doctor Who theme. <laughs> <laughs> you nerd. <laughs> um, oh, that was before my time. <laughs> Actually, it's, I guess it's after my time, because I'm, I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm only in the uh, 1150 BC times. Mm -hmm. But I saw, I finally saw that Troy movie that came out 15 years ago. Hmm. Brad Pitt's. Brad Pitt's. Brad Pitt's day. And uh, it was okay. They're, they're very, uh, the, Brad uh, Pitt's not a bad person. Really. I've, I've never met the man, but I'm sure he's okay. Um... It was funny because it was very, it was obviously the guy who made this movie was an atheist. So, like, they kind of skip over the whole thing with the gods and the Iliad. Don't you want to know how I know Brad Pitt's not a bad person? How do you know Brad Pitt's not a bad person? Because I have a friend <gasps> who is his bodyguard. <gasps> really? Mm -hmm. Cool. Or, you know, like I mean, his security. Security detail? Mm -hmm. And he's not, not a bad guy? Mm -hmm. Cool. Seems like an alright chap. Yeah. Brad Pitt, not a bad guy. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Let's see. Shall I bomb or shall I go on the road first? Oh man. So much, there's so much crap here. I can see. It, you know what? It's like. It's a weird thing when you're a teenager and mm -hmm. you know somebody that you have fun sex with, and then <laughs> and then they yeah. end up being really close to these really famous people. But then it has no benefit to you 
even though you're friends with this person, because they're security and they can't really give you any information, mm -hmm. and they can't really pass you or information onto them because that's against their job. Like what? Like his social security number? No, like they can't, like, try to make an introduction because that would be that would, that would be uncool. Up. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah, it's hard out here in Hollywood. Like, their job is to keep people away from these folks, mm -hmm. not bring them in. And you, you'll probably, you can't exactly be like, hey, look at my screen, Brad Pitt. Nope. 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 Nope, nope, nope. Yep, their security people would be like, uh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're fired. <laughs> yep. You're like all the way fired. No. But, yeah, if they didn't say fuck off, they'd be fired. Yeah. Truth. Holy shit. I've... Dude, why couldn't you have become an agent? Good then question. I could use this connect. Look at this, look at this <laughs> giant asshole. Just be for me. Oh, I feel like this. <laughs> this what? asshole. Um, what is it? Dodonger, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's his name. His name's something, something like Dodonger. But That's perfect. I haven't found the, the right weapon to use on him just yet. It's somewhere in the... Somewhere in this level, I gotta find the whistle. I gotta use a whistle on him. Oh, I think his name is Dig Dogger. <laughs> Dig Dogger. Dig Dogger. Yeah. It's the asshole of Dagon. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, hey, easy. Oh, I, wonder if I, I got killed by Dagon's asshole. It happens. <laughs> oh boy. Am I stuck? I'm not stuck. Okay. Hey, what's up, dude? There. Dagon's asshole is twice my size. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. There's a door. It sure is. What do you want? Secret power is said to be in the arrow. Oh, yeah, I already know that. This is a riddle. Yeah. You'll notice I've been taking out these rabbits with arrows. I have a, I have a riddle for you. Hit me with it. What color is obedience? Uh, blue? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <coughs> Not even close. <laughs> it's not a riddle. It's a cone. Um, oh yeah, I, I could tell my cone story. Okay, tell your cone story. All right. So, uh, a long time ago, I was really into Zen Buddhism, and um, I downloaded a bunch of lectures about said topic, and there was, oh shit, there was one that had this story about this guy who was interested in learning more and more about Zen Buddhism, and he just so happened to be a soldier in a uh, military base, and um, he heard that there was this general uh, who was like a Zen master. He was kind of known as the Zen master. Mm -hmm. And um, he's like, oh, maybe this guy can teach me some stuff about Zen. Didn't you already tell the story or no? I, th I, th I think I told it in the car one day. Oh, okay. okay. Go, go on. Yeah. Um, so he... Uh, hold on. Um, he, oh, yeah. So he goes to the general and... Uh, he, you know, he's like, I hear you're a great Zen master. I'm a student of Zen myself. I'm curious to know all about it. What can you tell me about Zen? And um, the general's like, yeah, yeah, I can teach you about Zen. But first, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, see that tree out in the field? And there's like a big field with just a kind of a small tree uh, in the middle of it. And uh, the general says, what, what, what can you tell me about this tree? I thought he was like, what is the meaning of the tree? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> what, what do you, what do you think this tree means? Oh. Um, so, and uh, oh yeah, what does the tree mean? Yeah, was it what does the tree mean? Yeah, so the guy's like, well, you know, you can't approach it from a military tactics perspective. He says, well, you know, if we come under fire, we can use this tree for coverage. Um, uh, 
you know, we can, if they approach us from the north, we can hide from them from the south side of this tree. And the general says, get out of here and don't come back until you can tell me about the tree. So the guy's up all night thinking about the tree. He's like, he goes on the internet, he looks up Wikipedia, he learns where the tree comes from, when, when that specific type of tree was, was, uh, was kind of discovered, uh, you know, all that sort of thing. And uh, he goes, he goes, the next day he goes to the general and he tells him all about the tree uh, from a scientific aspect. And the general says, get out of here and don't come back until you can tell me what the tree means. And the guy's up all night, racking his brain. Like, what can that tree mean? And then, you know, after after being up all night thinking about it, he goes up to the general and, and he's in sheer frustration. He goes, it doesn't mean anything. The tree doesn't mean anything. And the general says, <laughs> now you are ready to learn about sex. <laughs> And yeah, <laughs> that's the general Zen story. I need more bombs. This is another part of that. Oh, story. do you remember what I was telling you about while I was sitting on your chest? No. <laughs> oh, the the thing about Yoni. Yoni Yoni Patoni. Pat <laughs> <laughs> was I telling you about Yoni? <laughs> uh, where are you? Um... Damn it. Or what, what were you saying when you were sitting on my chest that I sometimes fade out when that happens? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was telling you about the aspect of Shiva that's Shiva Shakti. It's male and female. Masculine and feminine, I mean. Mm -hmm. Do you remember this? No. Remind me. And how, how that, as, how that uh, depiction of Shiva come about. So... Shiva's like got these seven sages, right? Mm -hmm. He's giving them these long scientific explanations of all the different the Vedas and the all these different yogic methods and just pouring out information, long-winded descriptions. And Parvati, his wife, she's she has some questions, and she asks her questions of him. And he says, don't you worry about it. And she's like, gets really mad. She's like, is it because I'm a woman? Oh, yeah. That you said this? Like, why won't you answer my questions? I'm asking you questions. Answer them. I want to know what it's like, you know, to be, basically to be you. I want to know what you know. And I'm your wife. You got to tell me. Mm -hmm. And he says, no, 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 no. Don't you worry about it. Come sit on my lap. And she's like, <laughs> okay, I'll trust you. And she came and she sat on his lap. He pulled her into her and she became half of him. So he was half Shiva and half Shakti. Shakti is the feminine. Let's see. And there's like two morals to this story. The most important being that there are many ways to know things, and that is, you can learn about it from the intellect, like the seven sages, mm -hmm. or you can just absorb it. Mm. You don't have to, like, intellectualize it. Yeah, and I said that that's, <clears throat> I've been also hearing people talk about the Vedas, and that's kind of how I absorb it, because... I kind of I have to admit it kind of goes over my head like well, intellectually right and one of the things that you do is you memorize how they're spoken mm -hmm. in Sanskrit but what if they brainwash me well how would how, how would you <laughs> be brainwashed by it if you don't even understand Sanskrit hey, that's a good question so I'm you memorize the sound of it in Sanskrit mm -hmm. and once you memorize the sound of it and you can recite the sound of it you don't need to know the intellectual meaning because that's how you can absorb it, basically. But how how can I impress me impress people at parties? Mm. If I if I can't intellectualize something that's not part of my culture. <laughs> <laughs> that's another thing. Like when I was, did I mention this before? Uh, no. When I was uh, when I first joined a pagan coven, 
um, one of the things they would tell me is that you can't um, you can't look outside your culture for deities. That's you... that's like cultural appropriation. I think I said this before we you, were. We you, we you said it not two hours ago, but to tell me again. So basically, the idea was that's cultural appropriation. You can't look outside your culture. You find your roots, and you find the gods that your ancestors worshipped, basically. But uh, that didn't happen for me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You were a pagan for a long time, though, right? I'm still a pagan. I mean, I still consider myself a witch. Mm -hmm. But I'm a Shiva witch. Um, but yeah, sometimes you just gotta go with it. <laughs> <laughs> when shit starts happening. Yeah. And you're like, okay. Uh, this guru that I was watching was saying, I was an atheist, actually. <laughs> 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 and she came along and was like, mm -mm, "No, you're not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is how you're, you're gonna you're gonna learn about me now." You wanna talk about Shiva? What do you wanna know about Shiva? That's that's who you worship, yeah. Mm -hmm. I worship the dark goddess and Shiva. The dark goddess is is seen is named Kali in in my religion, but she's also known as the Morrigan and. Maeve and Lilith and she's a shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. Intriguing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, Hecate. Goddess Hecate. Mm -hmm. Hear my plea, my call. No one wants to give me any bombs. Any bombs. No one wants to give me bombs. Any bombs. Sorry. Um, cool. I. Uh... Do you know about oh, Jung and Jung and the Shadow? Jung and the Shadow, like the Shadow Self. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Uh, That's her playground. I see. That's why some people see her as demonic. I see. But the the role of Shiva in in my religion. So so Kali was called to save the human or to save the planet basically, because those demons were taken over. But the thing about them was, if you make them bleed, every drop of blood. Um, that landed on the ground would become a new demon. Whoa. Oh, I've heard this story. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. So the gods were like, well, who can, who, who will we go to? And they're like, Kali. She, she'll know what to do. <laughs> Let's give Kali a call. And she's like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So she slays them, and as she slays them, she drinks every drop of blood. Nice. But she gets real excited. She's dancing and stopping around. No wonder you like this lady. <laughs> <laughs> she gets real excited about it. Um, and she's slayed all the demons and the king of the demons. And, um, and she's still like all hyped up. Like like a drug. <laughs> hyped. And the gods are like, oh fuck, she's going to destroy the planet herself. Because oh, yeah. she's dancing and she's flailing about and she's going to wreck everything. So she was like, I know what to do. And he lays down at her feet. And she's stomping around. She steps on him. She looks down and she sees Shiva. And she feels cold. Huh. Sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay. She's like, oh, I love you. Oh, That's nice. Mm -hmm. I got another heart. Um, okay, now I'm prepared to face to finish this level and then we can I had some somebody try to Hindu splain to me <laughs> Hindu splain that the reason she stuck out her tongue was that she was embarrassed that she stomped on Shiva and I was like no 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 that's not that's not that's the accurate lame. that's not an accurate um, yeah. interpretation mm -hmm. even from a historical standpoint yeah. that's um, one thing that's happened interestingly enough is that Hinduism with the advent of Christianity and such became more conservative Mm. And so they try to like talk you out of the sexual aspects of it, like the conservative Hindus do. Didn't you tell me that at one point? Sorry to interrupt. Was that? Was there more to that? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, didn't you tell me at one point you thought you'd wasted half your life on sex because you were so, you were so into the? You joined a uh, what do you call it? I, I joined a um, ashram. An ashram. Mm -hmm. um, 
Is that like you you kind of realize that sex wasn't that important because you were in, you were in super deep into the ashram? Um. Or am I misremembering that? Well, I wouldn't say I didn't think it was important, but I went into a period of celibacy, you know, for a bit. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, how about, how I, about, I think how? that I think that every person has these periods of like I've had periods of hypersexuality and I've had periods of celibacy and I think they all serve a purpose like like they you you can see things from different perspectives depending on where you're coming at it mm -hmm. you know from so I don't think I ever thought sexuality was not important, but I just lost interest in it for a while. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad. Uh, and then I got hypersexual things. again. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad <laughs> things changed. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like I was saying in the last episode, where Ravi was like, he didn't want to live if he couldn't have a heart on, if he couldn't have a boner. Like, but then he realized that's not like the most important thing, right? And that you can be sexual without a boner. Yeah. That you can be super sexual without a boner. Shit. Hold on. I have to concentrate for a minute because these guys are a little tough. Uh, let's see here. Oh. That does nothing. Um. I mean, sexuality is just your life energy. It's like. Isn't that important though? Yeah. <laughs> right, but it doesn't. Re it doesn't require like a boner. It doesn't require you to be. <laughs> Sorry, every time. It doesn't I... require. It doesn't require P and V. Yeah, that's true. Every time I hear the word boner, <laughs> an angel gets its wings. <laughs> 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 I can be like, I can be like giving a deposition at a trial, and someone says the word boner, I'm like, T. <laughs> 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 like, I when I was in fifth or sixth grade. This boy told me that there were actually bones in there. That that sounds like very much like something a child would believe. He's and like, I no, probably believe there's that. There's actually a bone that comes out. That's why they call it boner. I'm like, I don't no. think that's true. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, even, even at 11, I was like, no, I don't no, think that's that, how it works. That can't possibly be right. And then there's the guys who are like in their teens and they still believe that women pee out of their veg. <laughs> It's funny because it's true that there are people who think that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, a lot, a lot of people these days think pee is stored in the balls. <laughs> Have you heard that? And then, <laughs> and then there was the guy who was like, "I don't get why women need like pads. Why can't they just hold it? <laughs> why don't? Why do they need tampons? Why do they need pads? Like they, they could just hold it. Oops. Just, just use your, use your." Your muscle, your, your muscle yeah, tiny. your taint muscles. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, that's not how it works. Well, I knew a, I, I had a friend, a friend of mine's little brother, mm -hmm. I won't say his name, um, thought that women, <laughs> women gave birth out their butts. <laughs> like There's just one big hole yeah. for everything. Like a cloaca. <laughs> I feel like a bird ass. What were we talking about when we were taking a walk? Gosh, I don't know. That's something that was so about long ago. That was something ago. about anatomy. Um, uh, it's funny too. I was I wanted to remember it. Ooh, damn it! Oh boy. I got. I got. I got these. Oh, darkness. you were. You were. <laughs> I was saying that I trimmed my bush. Oh, yeah. And then it was, I had trimmed it a little short and it was itchy. Yeah. And, um. And I was like, why don't you just put, rub some shampoo in it? <laughs> I was like, rub some shampoo in your eye, man. <laughs> then you'll see, understand. See how that feels. Yeah. yeah you're not I was to like, put... well, you know, when I, when I, when I trim down there, I just rub some shampoo on my junk and I don't itch as much. But then, I, but then you reminded me that there's a, mucous membrane. A, a penis is not a vagina. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, well, <laughs> this boy is my face red. 
And there's something about birth. Shit. There's something about birth. You were like, I'm so glad you're patient with me, and you and you like answer these questions. Yeah, you, I had a question about or. You did. You asked me what the placenta really was. Yes, yeah. I asked you what a placenta was, yeah. and you explained it to me, and I said ew, and then I said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being patient. <laughs> I said, thank you for being patient with me. Because I'll never, and I, this is a, a friend of mine, like, we get along great, but I do remember in college, I had a lady friend who uh, was talking about her period, and I, I asked, I don't remember exactly what I asked, I asked some, like, super basic, dumbass question about how periods work. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget, she just kind of rolled her eyes and went, men. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I get that. But at the same time, I'm like, yeah, but I'm, I'm asking the question. I want to know, like, how does this work exactly? But uh, but yeah, it's like, if if you rolled your eyes and said, "Man," I'd be like, "Dude, <laughs> come on." <laughs> I mean, you know, we're stuck with each other. <laughs> ed education is, I mean, not so great in this area. Mm -hmm. Well, it's funny because I I used to think education was really bad in. The state that I grew up in, but then I moved to Utah, <laughs> and I was like, "Holy shit! <laughs> this, this is uh, we all got trouble. We all got trouble right here in River City." Okay, so we're at forty minutes right now. Forty minutes. Yeah. Okay, I'm we've been chit chatting for a long time. I'm about to pass this dungeon here. You, you were in the middle of a story, and it, I didn't want to interrupt you, but there was an old man earlier. Actually, I think I can find him again. Uh, maybe. Hold on, I gotta take out this guy. Come here. No, you don't want to open up for me? Okay, how did I do this? Hmm. Hold on. Okay. Um. Are you inside a tomb? Uh, maybe. These, uh, every, everything has their own name. So these mummies, and they're obviously mummies, but they're called Gibdos. Gibdos. <laughs> Gibdos money, mummies and fire. <laughs> ah, nice. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so, uh, I think it was over here. Yeah, here it is. You're in the middle of a story, and this guy popped up and said, Big Dogger hates a certain kind of sound. And I just got a whistle. So what do you think I have to do with that giant asshole we saw earlier? Whistle at it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like you do with any <laughs> asshole. <laughs> just give him a little whistle. <laughs> uh, boy, these guys... You gotta remember where the giant asshole li lives. Uh, well, fortunately, I got that flashing light on that map is where the asshole lives. Hey, thank you, fairy. Thank you, thing. Do, 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 do. Shit, I like close. taking out assholes. Hmm? I like taking out assholes. <laughs> yeah, this guy's the biggest asshole I've ever seen. The floor lava? The floor is lava. Or the. He's got a river of lava here. Alright. Oh, I could use those bombs, but whatever, whatever. And these assholes. Those aren't the real assholes. No, they're, they're just big kitty cats. Yeah. They're, they're weak, and they're weak against arrows. Maybe foxes. I think they look like I would, foxes. I always thought they looked like rabbits. Um, yeah. I think they're more like foxes. Their ears. Yeah. Anyway. There's the giant asshole. Yeah, dig dogger. <laughs> now he's a little asshole. <laughs> now, yeah, now I can stab <laughs> him. <laughs> he made the asshole shrink. <laughs> he, he made him a, close up. He's a fast asshole too. Come here, come here, asshole. And he's dead. And he's a dead asshole. Yeah, dead asshole. Uh, all right, level five. Yay. Yay! We're about halfway through this game. All right, so we should call it a night for right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm actually ready to fall asleep. No, but, but we'll watch stuff. Watch okay, movies okay. and stuff. I love you. 
love you and everybody subscribe 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 yeah. like us, like us comment on us say please. hello we want to know you're there because otherwise we're just speaking into the void which we don't mind i could speak into the void all day yeah you might hear an echo sometime <laughs> but i'd rather the void talk right back talk back to me okay all right good night good night <laughs> Do, do, do. Closing assholes. <laughs> I stabbed an asshole. Write me assholes.